Magandang araw mga grade 10 students. Ito si Teacher I at welcome to Project Dream Grade 10 Mathematics Video Lessons. And for the sixth week of quarter one, we have proved the remainder theorem and the factor theorem as our most essential learning competency. Simulan natin ang discussion sa remainder theorem. Ano nga ba ang remainder theorem? Remainder theorem. If a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus c, the quotient is q of x, and the remainder is r. The relationship among these quantities can be expressed in the following way. p of x is equal to q of x times the quantity x minus c plus r. Sagutan natin ang mga examples. Find the remainder when p of x is equal to x cubed plus 4x minus 5 is divided by letter A, x minus 3, and letter B, x plus 2. Unahin natin sagutan ang letter A. Find the remainder when p of x is equal to x cubed plus 4x minus 5 is divided by x minus 3. So, p of x is equal to x cubed plus 4x minus 5. Paano natin makukuha yung value ng x? So, dito tayo, equate natin sa 0 ang x minus 3. So, x minus 3 equals 0. Transpose mo yung minus 3 sa kapila. So, x will be positive 3. So, the value of x is 3. So, p of 3 is equal to x cubed plus 4x minus 5. Then, substitute the values of x, which is 3. So, 3 cubed plus 4 times 3 minus 5. 3 cubed is 27. 4 times 3 is 12 minus 5. So, p of 3 is equal to 34. So, our remainder is 34. Gamitin naman natin ang synthetic method para sa letter A. So, ang x natin ay 3. Then, kunin natin ang numerical coefficient ng bawat terms. So, 1 para dito. 0 dahil walang second degree. 4 para dito at yung constant. So, 1, 0, 4, and negative 5. So, bring down 1. negative 2. Then, substitute the values. Negative 2 cubed plus 4 times negative 2 minus 5. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 minus 5. So, P of negative 2 is negative 21. So, ang remainder natin ay negative 21. Isolve naman natin ang remainder ng example B by using synthetic method. So, ang x natin ay negative 2. Then, find the numerical coefficient of the terms. 1. So, walang second degree. So, that is 0. Then, 4. And, negative 5. So, bring down 1. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. 0 plus negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. 4 plus 4 is positive 8. 
negative 8 times negative 2 is negative 16. So negative 5 plus negative 16 is negative 21. So ang ating remainder ay negative 21. Now, it's your turn to solve, guys. Okay guys, the timer starts now. Okay, time is up. Let's have the solution. So the value of x will be positive 4. So, P of 4 is equal to x cubed minus 5x squared plus 10x minus 8. So, i-substitute natin ang value na x. 4 cubed minus 5 times the quantity 4 squared plus 10 times 4 minus 8. So, 4 cubed is 64. 5, negative 5 times 16 is negative 80 plus 40 minus 8. So, ano ang sabot niyo sa PL4? That is correct. It is 16. Very good. Pagkatapos ng remainder theorem, ito naman ang factor theorem. Ano So, what will be the value of x? Yes, that is correct. Negative 5. So, p of negative 5 is equal to x cubed plus 7x squared plus 2x minus 40. Then, substitute the value of negative 5 sa mga x. So, negative 5 cubed plus 7 times negative 5 squared plus 2 times negative 5 minus 40. So, negative 125 plus 175 minus 10 minus 40. So, that is 0. So, ano ang conclusion natin dito? Therefore, because of P of X equals 0,
we conclude that x plus 5 is a factor of x cubed plus 7x squared plus 2x minus 14. At para sa ating pangalawang example, determine whether x plus 2 is a factor of 2x cubed plus x squared minus 7x minus 6. That will be negative 2. So p of negative 2 is equal to 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 8x minus 12. So ipalit lang natin ang negative 2 sa mga x na nandito. So 2 times negative 2 cubed plus 3 times negative 2 squared minus 8 times negative 2 minus 12. So, negative 16 plus 12 plus 16 minus 12. So, our P of negative 2 is 0. So, ano yung conclusion natin dito? Therefore, since P of negative 2 is equal to 0, x plus 2 is a factor of 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 8x minus 12. Salamat sa panonood. Ito po si Teacher I saying, Hanggang sa muli. Bye guys!